welcome back okay so as you can see I'm jumping right into this tutorial this morning I'm starting out moisturizing my face with my Mamond this is the rose water gel cream moisturizer love this stuff so I'm just making sure my skin is nicely hydrated before we get started so for my brows I'm actually using my pure on point pencil I haven't used it for quite a while but if you're an OG you know that I've used this pure pencil for a long time to fill in my brows I just like the color of it it stays all day and it just works um, so yeah for my brows I just kind of apply the pencil to shape it and then I use a spoolie brush as you can see to brush that color into my brow hairs the little bit that I have just to make sure the beginning portion of my brows is kind of you know faded and not too blocky so to clean up my brows, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I've been using this for years. It works nicely for me, so it's kind of like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm just using that, as you can see here, to shape my brows before I go in with this eye look. So to prep my lids, I'm using my P. Louise base, and I'm just applying it to a small beauty blender sponge. Um, it is a little bit damp, and I'm just pressing that primer into my lid because I find that I get a more even placement when I do it this way. So this is the palette today, you guys, the Rose Quartz from Huda Beauty. Isn't she a gorgeous palette? So I'm starting out with the shade Gratitude and I'm just taking this <laughs> crazy looking Morphe brush to apply that in the crease of my lid. These Morphe brushes are a trip, I tell you. They just, they go crazy after you wash them. But anyway, so I'm just tapping that into my crease and gently blending it into the upper portion of my lid. As you can see, nothing too crazy, but I'm just really trying to get a feel for these shadows to see how they perform, see how they're going to apply, and to see what the pigmentation is. So very very nice i actually really like this color it's like a pretty dusty rose shade really really cute so next i decided to go into the shade happiness which is really just a light pink shade don't ask me why i decided to use that but i guess i just wanted to bring a little bit more of that pinkness into my crease um, as I move further into the eye look, I really don't think that this step was necessary. You could probably skip it, but just looking here, it did kind of, you know, draw a bit more pink into that crease area, which is really pretty, really, really nice. So it's time to deepen this look up and I'm going into the shade. What is this? I don't know. It looks like mantra yeah mantra and so i'm just taking a smaller blending brush kind of like a pencil style blending brush and i'm applying that in the outer corner and just gently blending it into those lighter shades that are in my crease as you can see i'm kind of framing this eye for um, a halo eye look because really for me I'm looking forward to trying out the shimmers in this palette so this is really just kind of laying down my base for me so I can make that shimmer shade the highlight so the shade I'm going into is cosmic love and as you can see I'm just using my finger here to place that gorgeous shimmer down on my lid you guys, oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, you can already get a little peek here as I'm applying it. You can see how it's 
laying down on my lid. I didn't use any type of glitter glue or glitter primer or anything. And y'all, <laughs> this, this shimmer is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I'm just building it up a little bit, you know, seeing how intense I can get it while you know applying it with my finger and it's just so beautiful i mean you could see how simple this eye look is it's just like crease work and throw that shimmer on the lid so i'm going in with some black eyeliner today i'm just using my nyx matte black eyeliner and i really love this eyeliner it dries down matte and so you know it just gives you a really bold black look for your liner now for these lashes these are from kiss i believe they're kind of like a really big bold lash they're in the style plunge and i really like to use these whenever i'm doing kind of like a razzle dazzle eye look and that's what i would describe this as <laughs> So yeah, I went in with those lashes today. Now let's move on to the face now that the eyes are done. I'm going in with this Ulta Beauty Mattifying Primer. I really like to use this primer in my T-zone because it really does help to blur out my pores and to keep any oils that try to pop through at bay. So as you can see, I really am just focusing it in my T-zone. Now I'm going in with this Essence Camouflage Concealer. I like to use this to kind of, you know, take care of my dark circles before I go in with my foundation. This is another product that I use basically every time I do my makeup. And for my foundation, I'm using my Huda Beauty today. I decided I wanted to go in with a full coverage look since I have such a bold eye. And whenever I want a full coverage look, Huda Beauty for sure. It never disappoints. Um, I love this foundation. I really, really do. But definitely only if I want full coverage. If I want more of a natural beat, I'll go in with my ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. But yeah, as you can see, this foundation gives you full, flawless coverage. So for my concealer, I'm using my favorite concealer today. You guys know it is the Juvia's Place. I use the shade 11. I just haven't found any other concealer that I like better than this one. I love the shade. I love the creaminess of it. It's not drying. Um, it blends out nicely and it gives me just the right amount of brightening um, in the areas that I want to brighten on my face. So in my little loose powder box, I have my Prime Beauty powder. And I decided to use my sponge to apply the powder today. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use my sponge. And since I'm doing like more of a full coverage look, I decided to go ahead and use my sponge to apply my powder because it really does kind of mattify my face and just set all those areas so I'm really feeling how this powder is working for me today just flawless so I'm going in with my KVD powder foundation this is new to me got it in my boxy charm and I'm finding that I really really like it it's working nicely for me nice coverage it sets my face beautifully and I think I picked the right shade for me I have deep 200 and it looks great so for bronzer, I'm using one of my Morphe bronzers. This is the Tour in Showmance. And I like to apply my bronzer just by tapping it down and gently blending it, just so I have more control over where I apply it. When I kind of go in and just aggressively, you know, brush it onto my cheekbones and stuff, it gets a little bit harsh. So as you can see, I like to gently place my bronzer down just so I have more control of where it goes how it's applying and how it's actually looking on my skin so for my blush i'm going kind of deep today i'm using this abh um, blush kit and gradient 
Now this blush is really deep, you guys. It's really, really dark. So you have to go in gently and you have to tap it down lightly and you have to make sure you blend it out really, really well. It is a gorgeous shade and I think it went very well with this eye look, but as you can see, it is a very aggressive blush. Now I'm going in for my highlighter with this AOA radiant blush that I got from Shop Miss A. As you can see, obviously this is a highlighter for me. And every time I use it, I'm blown back by how bold it is. It is so beautiful. If you want a lighter icy type um, highlighter, like when I'm doing this because of my eye look, normally I like the more bronzy highlighters, but for my eye look today, I'm going a little bit icier and I really, really like this highlighter for that look. It's beautiful for a dollar, okay? So for my lower lash line, I decided to go with like a pastel lavender eyeliner. This one is from LA Girl and is very bold, very pigmented. Um, you don't have to really, you know, aggressively go in for it to show up. It's beautiful and bright. And for my inner corner pop, I decided to go into the shade Moon Magic. And I didn't even spray my brush. I just wanted to tap it down and see how it would apply. And as you can see, it is beautiful and vibrant. These shimmers actually look like glitter, but they're not. They're so vibrant and bold. They're just really, really beautiful shimmer shades and I love them, okay? So for my mascara on my lower lashes, I'm using the Pat McGrath. This is the Fetish Eyes Mascara. My girl DJ told me to try it out and she was right. It is a bomb mascara. <laughs> Pretty pricey, but it is very nice. So for my lips, decided to go in with one of my ColourPop Lippy Sticks. And I like to use these to actually line my lips. I mean, of course, you know, you can fill in your whole lip with it if you want a nice bold lip but I'm using that shade to line my lips and I'm going in with one of my Revlon Colorstay lipsticks just to kind of create a bit of an ombre lip for today. I thought that would look nice with this eye look. I've been trying out this Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray and it's nice you guys. I mean, of course the All Nighter Setting Sprays are bomb, but this one really sets the face down nice and matte last all day i'm really feeling it so this is the look for today you guys i hope you like it this palette is gorgeous i'll see you guys on the next one toodles